Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a vlog and I actually started filming these clips on the weekend, but I didn't really do an intro, so this is the intro. I have my Cricut out this morning because I'm going to do a little DIY gift thing for Shay's Bachelorette, which is next weekend. And I have this old PR, it's not that old, it's literally from Valentine's Day, but I have this box and I'm so glad I saved it because it's so cute and so perfect, but obviously it has like Lush stuff on it. So I'm going to make a new like sticker to go over that. I'm going to use white cardstock and then make a yellow sticker to go on it. And then I think I'm also going to crick it onto this cute little like tumbler that I got. I got her like a neutral color, but I want to put like bride on it or something, just like something minimal, something, you know, customized that's fun but not too like overpowering. So that's the plan. I believe this is sticker paper. I don't really use paper a whole lot with my Cricut. This is a new medium for me. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. This is kind of what I was thinking for the box, something super simple and I really like this font. Okay, I did the first half cut out the stickers, but I kind of like the way this looks. So for the purple for her name, I think I'm going to cut it out in a square and then just remove the inside stickers and then have it be like a square. I think that'll look cool. Cause like I said, I really like the way that this looked. I think that turned out so cute. I think it's going to fit perfectly. I feel like I could add something to the bottom of it, but I also kind of just like how simple it is. So I think this is what it's going to be. I understand Home Sense needs to have these difficult tags, but like, could we not have put it on the paper part of the cup? Could we not have done that? That would have been much easier. I'm having a very difficult time trying to move this nicely. And there is the finished cup. I did have a bit of a time at deciding where I wanted this to go, but I ultimately decided right by the handle because I thought it looked cute and like kind of tucked away a little bit. Also, I love the font that I went with. It's very bridal and just like simple and elegant. I am currently looking up Pinterest inspo for tonight's outfit. It is a Western or like cowgirl themed birthday party for Kelsey. And so obviously I'm gonna wear my Amazon boots. I'm currently wearing them right now. I'm like trying on my outfit before I go shower. I have this amazing cow print. I think that was a cow print skirt from Michael Kors that they kindly gifted me last year. And so I pulled this out. I was originally gonna wear just a black skirt, but I found this and I was like, this is perfect. So I did that with a little Western belt that I have here. And then if it continues not raining, then I might be able to wear my denim jacket. This was the one I thrifted from the Rose Bowl flea market last year. If not, I'll have to wear like my proper something or other with the hood and then my Amazon boots. And then I'll do like a whole layered necklace situation just to kind of spice it up. And then this is like a muscle tee. I just like a lot of the inspo picks that I've been liking were like graphic tees and I don't really have anything that's like Western. So I think this will be fine and like nice. I did try on like a silk button up, but it just like wasn't working. It was like doing a tie thing and it was just like not it. So I think this is it. I'm like mid getting ready. I ended up not washing my hair cause I'm going to an event tomorrow and I'm gonna be in like saunas and cold plunge maybe if I feel ballsy enough to do that. Um, cold plunge pool. So I'm like, I feel like I shouldn't like wash my hair right now. So I did not, I had a body shower and then I just like sprayed a lot of dry shampoo into my hair. And I've set it now into my kitsch rollers. Um, I didn't have enough rollers, so I did have to go find two toilet paper rolls. Um, so there's that. I want to film like a real slash TikTok getting ready sort of thing. And then also I need to film the last little bit of a, like a sponsored thing. So I kind of have to like figure out how I'm going to do both in one how do the velcro really helps like toilet paper roll great in a pinch not ideal on days where i have a lot longer and like more time to get ready i love using the under eye patches these ones are the florence by mills ones i keep them in my fridge and they're so nice it's just you know it makes it feel very glam and very luxe which we love i will check in with you guys once i'm done my makeup okay makeup is done i think i popped off i did follow like a picture kind of got some inspo this is I don't know, pretty standard for my makeup. I just really smoked it out and added sparkle. I like actually did eyeshadow instead of just a shadow wing and I love it. I've also been loving like red tone blush. So I found this in my drawer. This is Pillow Talk Dream Pop. This is the one from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I layered it with this blush from Armani Beauty. Number 60 Luminous Silk Glow Blush. And it is like proper red, hold on. A little goes a long way, but it's such a nice tone. And this with this over top was so pretty. I've been loving it. Of course, lots of freckles. And yeah, now I have to like take out my hair though. 
because I need to film that piece of content, darken my makeup a little bit after that, and then film for the TikTok of like my outfit and stuff, which you already saw. I also did like little half lashes and stuff. Cute, I'm feeling, I'm feeling highlighted and glowy, but also like really matte. This powder and a poof, really, they're it. They're my favorite things ever. Love it so much. moment there but she turned out cute i did go with a bit of a side part just because i wanted this like big bang and um yeah i might have to like curl recurl a few pieces but like overall it's pretty good i could like recurl like some of these back pieces but i've just doused it in hairspray and i think i'll add a little bit more texture spray when i go out but overall it did what i wanted it to do and that's always so nice is it gonna stay okay here is basically the final look hopefully I feel like my settings are not good. Hello, there we go, brightness. Okay, so if you see me out and I'm wearing a proper coat because it's cold out, mind your business, this is what I envision had it been warmer. I love the denim jacket, but I think I need to wear the other jacket to stay warm tonight, but I'll probably coat check. Bag is my new coach bag that I just adore. For perfume, I use the new YSL Black Opium, the cherry one. It is so, so good. Layered my necklaces. I think I'm gonna take this one off. Don't like it. And um, just my regular jewelry. You guys saw the fit before. Time to go. Yeehaw. Hello friends, happy Sunday. It feels a lot earlier than it is because of the time change last night. It is always so funny being at a club and having the time go from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. and you just feel like, wow, I gotta get home. Um, last night was so, so much fun. We went to the Yale. That was my very first time ever going there. We learned some line dancing because when we first got there, it was just kind of like a smaller crowd and then we went to karaoke for two hours and then came back to the Yale and spent the rest of the night there and it's honestly so fun. My Amazon boots held up so well. They were so comfy until the very end, which was really good. I'm not like hungover, but I certainly didn't sleep. You know those nights after drinking that you like either pass out and have a great sleep or you just like lay awake tossing and turning? It was one of those for me, I think because of the time change and just everything that was going on. So I feel like I'm running on like maybe an hour of sleep, which is not normal for me. That being said, I'm sitting in the car about to go into an event and I'm a little bit nervous because I feel like a fraud. I probably shouldn't be here. Um, I didn't really think about it because I obviously got my tattoo, which I actually probably haven't even said that in this video. I'll explain that later. But I got a new tattoo and it's behind my ear and I completely forgot that you're like probably not supposed to do saunas and stuff like that. Obviously, after getting a tattoo and while it's not in like the bottom half, I still don't want to like excessively sweat and I like kind of sweat last night while I was dancing. So like I'm a little bit worried about it. And then the other part of that is the cold plunge and like the sauna is a reward. I don't know if I can cold plunge without warming up after. So I might not do it. I'm not really sure. I felt bad. Like I didn't want to cancel because I know how much effort goes into these events and like money and stuff. And so I obviously wanted to come and support the brand and like honestly learn about the brand and meet the team and everything. But I don't know if I can do the activity and it's not because I don't want to. I was really actually like, you know, hyping myself up to do it. But I don't know if I can do the cold plunge without the sauna. And it's like raining today. It's like cold. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully the team's okay with that because I do feel really bad that I like, can't do the activity. It should have been someone that could do the activity. So we'll see what they say but nonetheless that's what I'm here to do it's a Sunday reset I don't know if I've ever been to an event on a Sunday so I run through Starbucks my current order is a cold brew with sugar-free vanilla and some cream or like heavy cream and then I had some egg bites so I'm feeling decently better now that I'm caffeinated just did a really lovely breathwork session and I am so cold I'm like shivering I'm in like the the tented area with the fire and people are sporadically doing the cold plunge doing the sauna I really don't think I could go in the sauna because I really don't want to ruin this they said that sometimes with people with like hearing aids and stuff they'll just like use a towel and press it but it's just so fresh if it was like maybe a week old maybe I'd be more comfortable and like when I first got here, I was like, yeah, cold plunge. I can do that and just like warm up by the fire. 
but now that I'm here and it's pouring rain and I'm already have a chill and as someone that doesn't heat up fast I feel like it might not be a good idea so I pulled out my candle and I might just sit here and read. Kombucha is really good though. Hello friends, it is now Wednesday. I left you at the Biolage event and didn't pick up my camera until right now, basically because I've been on the computer doing things for the past few days, just like that kind of work and stuff. I got myself ready today because I had to film a couple things and I just did like a little unboxing on my stories because I got this package in the mail from MAC with all of these beautiful matte lipsticks and I'm so excited about it. This is insane. And then I also got a package for World Sleep Day from Estee Lauder. It came with their Advanced Night Repair Serum, which is great and such a favorite of mine. And a sound machine, like a legit portable little sound machine. It is so great. I'm so happy. I love sound machines. I always sleep with a fan. And I'm gonna take this everywhere with me. Like there's different settings. Such a unique inclusion for a PR package. I was not expecting that and so I was pretty excited about it. And then Clarence is celebrating 70 years so they sent a little 70 celebration package that had a bunch of like their cult products in here. There's like their treatment oil which I've never tried, obviously double serum we know and love, a perfume and then of course a lip comfort oil which are my favorite from Clarence. So that was exciting to get too. So earlier in the video you know how I couldn't go in the sauna because of my new tattoo. I figured I would tell you about that now. So last Friday Brittany and I went to an event in Langley at the same studio that I got my new piercings at. If you didn't see that vlog I will link it here so you guys can go check that out. But they were doing an event with Ed Ed's in Brookwood, I think that's the name. He's a TikToker, but he also owns a convenience store that has a bunch of like exotic candy and stuff. And so they were doing a pop-up and they were doing an influencer event with flash tattoos and piercings. As you know, I recently got my new piercings, so I didn't need any more piercings. These ones are still healing, but I was intrigued with the flash tattoos and Brittany has a bunch of tattoos as well. And so we were like, should we get matching? And we ended up getting matching tattoos. Same location, same tattoo. So I spam my ear. So we just got baby shooting stars and they're so so cute had to get Cody's assistant so I know it was in focus because I can't see it so that's the new tattoo it's super cute I've been wanting to get one in that spot for a really long time and I think that us having matching is so cute and so fun so that's officially my third tattoo pain was like a two out of ten it was really not so bad so honestly more worried about the tattoo artist like touching my piercing because it's still a little tender but overall it was really really quick i took the tape off a couple days ago and now i'm just using some tattoo balm to help heal it this is from ink frost and jamie who owns ink frost did my other two tattoos so i had that in my stash which is really good so i've been using that and it's been really nice so yeah that's a little story behind my third tattoo just a little spontaneous fun on a Friday night with my best friend, you know? It was cute, it was fun. And with that, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you wanna see more videos like this from me in the future, give it a thumbs up, cause it really helps and supports my channel. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.